Hi there, I'd like to share a secret with you from my book, The Speaker's Coach, 60 Secrets to Make Your Talk, Speech or Presentation Amazing. And the secret is to do with using these, using your hands and arms, using gestures. And particularly when you're talking about time. Now, if we think about it, when a graph is shown and time is represented, uh, we usually have a horizontal axis like that, and anything in the past would be shown over this side and the future over on the other side. And the same with numbers, 0 to 100 or a calendar, January to December. So when I'm talking about uh, something to do with time and perhaps not having a graph behind me, it would be natural, wouldn't it? Or ideal if I was using my gestures in the same way as that. But here's the problem. For me, when I'm thinking about talking about the future, uh, my hand would typically want to go uh, in this direction. Okay, and look at where that is. That's over on the past as you look at it. Uh, likewise, if I'm talking about the past, my hand tends to go out that way and look at where that is. That's actually over in your future. So for me, the line's going from past to future, but because I'm facing you, what do I need to do? I need to reverse it so it matches you. So as the speaker up here, he needs to be using his left hand here to represent the future and his right hand, okay, left hand, right hand, to represent the past. So it feels slightly different for the speaker, but it looks good for the audience. Now, nobody will notice if you don't do this, but it's one of those things that will instinctively, intuitively feel right to them if you do. So it's one more detail that makes the difference in being a great speaker. So there's a tip for you to think about next time. Think about reversing those hands, having a little practice with that. If you enjoyed that tip, then um, check out the website, check out the book, uh, The Speaker's Coach, and um, thank you for listening.